Do Roth IRA conversions make sense for me? Why does my advisor tell me to not do Roth IRA conversions? Or when I bring it up to my advisor, why does he push the topic off? Today I'm going to answer those questions and many more. The primary thing you need to understand about the industry is that there's two different types of financial advisors in the industry, and probably in your area. You have accumulation specialists, Accumulation specialists are advisors who focus on investment consulting, on income planning. Their primary thing, though, is working with everybody, and they want to get you from point A to point G. Okay, They want to get you from point A is when you started working to the point where you retire. That's their whole goal. And they specialize in very different things than, say, someone who is a distribution specialist. It may surprise you to know that when you're retiring, it actually requires a whole different skill set than when you're working. And the advisor you need will also need to be very different. Now, it may seem on the surface like they're both the same, especially because your advisor may want to retain you as a client for as long as he can. But it may not be in your best interest. You may need to find a distribution specialist. Now, the question about Roth IRA conversions, the reason why it's not talked about frequently by accumulation specialists is because, number one, they don't have the experience around it. And number two, they do a very basic analysis. And the reason why they do a basic analysis, and not an advanced one, is because, again, the clients they work with are primarily working and don't require too much tax planning. When you retire, everything changes. So what is a Roth IRA conversion? Let's start from the very beginning. Well, that's the act of taking money from an IRA. Okay, IRA, you never pay tax on that money. You pay tax when you take it out. Eventually, you'll have to take it out via something called a required minimum distribution. Now, you can avoid that tax, and you can avoid the tax your children will pay on it as well by sending the money from an IRA directly to a Roth IRA. On the way through, you must pay tax but you could save hundreds of thousands of dollars in tax if you do it effectively, and depending on your personal situation. But let's dive into the analysis to see exactly how that would work. The first thing you need to consider is, what is your retirement gonna look like over the next 15, 20 years? The first thing is, at 73, or 75, depending on your age, you'll have to start taking RMDs, Required to Minimum Distributions. Those are mandated withdrawals from your retirement account when you reach a certain age. And it's a percentage of your account. If you have about a million dollars, you can expect it to be about $45,000 you have to take out. And then you can use that. If you have $2 million, about $90,000 you'll have to take out. And that amount keeps going up every year. And the one thing it does is create tax. It'll create tax for you. Well, the question we ask is between 73 and 90, how much tax will you pay just on these RMDs? The second thing we look at is, well, what do you do with those RMDs? You can spend the money, you can give it away to a charity, or you can reinvest it. If you choose to reinvest some or all of that money that you get from those IRAs, you can't put it into a Roth IRA. You can't put it in an IRA. You can, though, put it in the bank or put it into an after-tax brokerage account. And if it grows in that after-tax brokerage account, you'll pay tax again. You'll be double taxed. So we need to add that up as well. And then you pass away and you leave your hard-earned money to your children or your grandchildren. You leave an inheritance. And depending on your amount of money, your kids will also pay tax on that money. So we also need to figure out what that number looks like. And what we get is a total amount of money that you will pay on your retirement savings. Now, if we flip over to the other side and consider doing a Roth IRA conversion, what we know, what you should know, is that when you're doing a Roth IRA conversion, you're taking money from an IRA, putting it into a Roth IRA, and you're paying tax on the way through. So you will pay tax to do it. But once you do that, you don't have any RMDs. The growth inside that account, meaning the dividends and interest, are also tax-free if certain requirements are met. And when you leave an inheritance, 
it's also tax-free. So inside a Roth IRA, you pay one tax bill versus three. And we'll also get a total over here. And it's simple at this point. If you pay more over here by not doing anything, then you'd pay by doing a Roth IRA conversion. You'd probably do the Roth IRA conversion because you'll save money in tax. Typically, if you have a million dollars, you can expect to save about $200,000 in tax if you're 65, 70. Now, just a rule of thumb, it definitely pertains or applies to your situation differently depending on your, your data. The reason why advisors will tell you not to do this is because they only look at RMDs and what it will cost you. They'll say, hey, you're going to pay this much. Doing a Roth IRA conversion will cost you this much. And it's a wash. It doesn't make sense. You'll, by the time you break even, you'll be 95. But if you look at the rest, if you do reinvest the RMDs, you'll pay tax. If you leave an inheritance, you'll also pay tax. And as tax specialists, that's what you want someone to focus on. And that tends not to be accumulation specialists. So with that said, it's very important to consult your own tax professional, your own financial professional. And a great way to test your financial professional about this topic is to ask him about Roth IRA conversions. Taxes are going up in two years in 2026, and taxes could go high even, even higher in the future. Ask him about that. It's very important to have that conversation. With that said, thank you for joining, on, joining me on yet another episode, and please join us in another two weeks for another content.